Welcome to our final CES edition of In Case You Missed It, where all the cool tech you've been waiting to see is still there, but scattered among miles of stuff that apparently just wiggles people's butts. Now it's burned into your memory too. Don't worry, we still found cool stuff. While you lusted a bunch of gadgets that start at $5.99, you probably missed the nail artist in a box, the drone, not helicopter, that's confusing to talk about, and VR gaming of your pod people future. Hey, Jetsons fans, we found something you're gonna like. It's the Ehang 184. It's a personal transportation device for the sky. It holds up to 220 pounds and it's a drone because of its shape, but it's really more like a helicopter. They're going to get these into production within the next year. No joke, the next year. If the FAA is cool with it, basically it's happening. This thing can go up for 23 minutes of flight time. It travels at 63 miles per hour and it takes about two hours to fully recharge. It operates by a Google Maps-like interface. The whole idea is that a passenger would get in, interact with the iPad screen in front of them and just basically say where they want to go and they can sit back and basically do no flying. It needs a 20 foot diameter to land and so once it has that it can land near your location. So the 184 in the name means it carries one person only, a max of 220 pounds. There are eight rotors and four booms on it. So it's drone-like, but they admit it's still more of a helicopter. And basically this is how we're gonna get around in the future, I guess. We don't need self-driving cars. We'll have these. They will not let me sit inside of it, but I am standing right next to it. And if I stand really close, oops, I touched it. When this is available, it'll be around 200 to $300,000. I don't have that much money. Also, a life of crime just got a lot easier. Fire, God damn it! Crush booth taking a look at their new Moviopod. It is a concept so far, but it gives 360 degrees of VR gaming madness. They won't let us sit in it, which is the only bummer. They just installed it yesterday. Apparently we're having problems until last night. So for now they want people to stay out, but they would let us try the same game, the same test you would see if you were actually sitting in it out here in 2D. And even that was cool. No more spinning. Oh Jesus. I will not die out here. I will Sandra Bullock this shit. Okay, that was cool. I would have liked to shoot more things. So far it is just a concept and what I hear is that they need to do probably at least one more version before they get to production, which the goal is for 2018, but they said based on the conversations they've had so far here at CES, it could be even sooner. It's the first one of its type that we know of and you know, uh, there's a lot of room for competition right now. The market is so big and so broad. Yeah, it Let's is. kill some robots and drones. So Virtuix has the Omni system for sale now for $6.99. With it you get the stand, the harness, and the shoes, and there are games included. Playing this demo was actually way cooler than I'd imagined. So just like we heard earlier from Crush, there are all sorts of potential solutions to VR gaming out there. This one for $6.99 is a pretty good price. Wow. Big boss. Woo, that was awesome. There is a surprising amount of beauty tech here at CES, and one of the things that we were most into is the eye nail. It's the intelligent nail printer, a little machine that can let you print very elaborate designs that are already preloaded, or, you know, pictures of pets, or yourself, or your friends. Whatever you want can go on your nails. Me and my photographer are going on my nail. I'll be the bottom, you be the top. Obviously I'm doing this one because it's psychotic, and also funny, and that's in case you missed it. Let's do it. get Shivani in it. Well, sadly, you can only see my one crazy eye. They said I didn't let the top coat dry long enough, but still cool. I'm still into it. People that do fancy nail art already know that nail artists charge a lot of money to do some very imaginative things. So this way, different nail salons can offer the same sort of elaborate, beautiful nail situation that maybe they can't do. This machine just went on sale about two months ago, and it's $2,899. So no, you can't have one at home. Unless you're like Kim Kardashian. She probably already has five. They're based in China, looking for distributors, and, you know, about to hit your local nail salon. So look out. Nail art. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because a lot happened and you probably got lost. Also, all we know is what happened at Vegas. 
their life outside of Vegas? LG's rollable display prototype was a dream come true to all of us. Volkswagen's concept electric minibus charges to 80% in only 15 minutes. The Oculus Rift finally got a price tag. Segway's newest people mover transforms into a household companion bot when you're not riding it. Still no Optimus though. And Kodak says it's resurrecting the Super 8 format into a redesigned retro film camera. We're done. This episode was brought to you by Go90.